I feel like the fight was rigged. Ooh. That's why, bro. I'm taking, I know. I'm taking that take. I'm a Jake Paul hater, so shout out to all you Jake <laughs> Paul fans. I'm not a, I'm not I, a Jake I, Paul fan. I wouldn't say I'm a hater, but I definitely understand what he brings to the game. What is going on, family? Welcome back to the episode of Jab and Slip. It's your boy, CJ the Tech. You already know I'm here with my boy. What's going on? It's your boy, Ronnie, with that lift box. We're back at it again. Ronnie always sounds like he rapped when he's Oh, yeah. You know, we go. It's just Garbo Race, Garbo Oh, man. Thank you guys so much for tuning back in, man. We had an amazing week. Two great cards. We have Jake Paul back versus Anderson Silva. Lomachenko. Ortiz. Lomachenko is back. Ortiz, man, came back from war. Lomachenko like a statement. Lomachenko came back, back in the Ukraine from God. war to do yeah. war. Yes, like, sir. Real shit. yes, sir. Yes, sir. So we're just going to jump right man. into it, man. Yes, um, let's yes, talk sir. about the Jake Paul fight because I feel like that yeah. fight and just that topic yeah. that Jake Paul in and of itself has a lot yeah. going Obviously, on. Jake There's Paul a lot of elements. The media in terms of boxing. He does. Guy, he does. He does. The YouTube boxer that's taking over, bro. That's well, another topic. We're gonna bro. talk about. We're gonna talk about that right after. So tell me yeah. first what you thought about you know the Silva and Jake Paul fight. So I feel like Anderson yeah. Silva was pretty much dominating the fight. To be honest, yeah. Part to give yeah. you my my true feelings about that. I feel like the fight was rigged. Ooh. That's why, bro. I'm taking. That, I'm taking that take. Because, bro, I just don't, I just can't understand, you know, a world class fighter yes. in Anderson Silva, yes. you know, dominated the UFC and he was known for his strike and his boxing. So I just don't understand how somebody who just literally taken up boxing a few years ago can literally knock out all these guys with experience. It just doesn't make sense to me. All right. It's, <laughs> Something doesn't it's, add it's, up. Something doesn't thing. add up. All right. Regardless of age, you know what I mean? Regardless, like, yeah. We're, regardless, we're not even, we're right, not even. The wisdom and the IQ is more, it's more important, right? Especially, at, of, the, especially at that level. Athleticism, you know? Especially at that level. Right? Because I, I you know level. boxing is a chess game. So I don't understand. I feel like Anderson Silva just took a, a big payday. You know what I mean? He didn't make as much when he was actually fighting in those times. So you yeah, see yeah, the, yeah. He, he's seen the money and he's like, you know, he's going to take one. I don't, gonna, I don't know. Gonna sell out. I, I I was watching the fight and I will say this. You're not gonna like this, but I think this is the best Jake Paul version I've ever seen. No, I disagree. Like this is the best version no, I've seen him. This I disagree was the, with you. This, I'm was not the, a fan of this was the most this was the most no, his style's not supposed to be good. It's not supposed to be clean yeah. and, and 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 like super sharp. He's not uh he's he's becoming a, a real boxer is becoming it, but he's not supposed to be. I'm super a Jake. Sharp I'm, right I'm a Jake Paul hater, so <laughs> shout out to all you Jake I, Paul fans. I'm not a, I'm not I, a Jake I, Paul fan. I wouldn't say I'm a hater, but I definitely understand what he brings to the game, and I think he's definitely elevating it to a point where he's bringing in people, a crowd that has never watched boxing oh, okay. before. All right, that's and now fair. they're elevating the game. I'll so give, I appreciate him for that, and I also I'll give you that. I'll give you that yeah. point. You know, he's and bringing I also, more attention and more awareness right. to boxing. What I'm not gonna give you though. What I don't mm. like, mm. right? At the same time is what it what it stands for. So it kind of contradicts itself because this guy, you know, he's put in a few years of work. Okay, no problem. I don't he know. Put, if he puts in work. I, he puts in work. That's one thing. That's one thing I respect on him too. Like he really does it. Like he really trains. He goes out. He runs. Well, it, he he puts well, in his rounds, and he doesn't have to do this. Like, he doesn't in have terms to. Of the paychecks this guy is making, right? Just coming into boxing in comparison to. You know what I mean? Like world class fighters yes. who've been in the league for years. You know what yes. I mean? Like yes, yes, but for years, bro. And yeah. he's making what they they would make their entire career in one fight. Yeah, he, and, and they're still not even making that. And that's the truth. And that's the sad reality. But at the same time, I understand his influence is his power, and him coming from a YouTube background and blowing up on the YouTube channel and having millions that's of followers. I can never, and also becoming a boxer. I can never not knock success. I yeah. just feel it for the guys that you know. Train day and night since yes. they're, you know, in yes. their teenage years, kids. They have to do the whole provincial, national, Olympics yes. just to make just that to get, game. Just and Jake it. Paul just comes in out of nowhere <clears throat> talking some shit. It's just. And fighting guys like Anderson Silva. Yeah, his brother, bro. his brother fighting Mayweather. Like Mayweather. It's, it's, it's definitely, it's definitely a lot, but we have to understand that, like, when people say we live in different times, That's this fair. is a perfect example. Yeah, yeah 100%. Of. So, of and people making it to a certain level based on their success in another avenue. Yeah. You get what I'm saying? And you see that going a lot now. Like it's very right, popular. right, right, right. So it's never, it's never the worst thing. Hold on, we just gotta get this guy on camera. Oh yeah, you just walk in. Hey, yo, happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Happy Halloween! Look at the bicep. Oh, look at the tricep. Oh, 
Hold on. Where can I get one of those, man? Watch Pun Man. Where can I get one of those? Watch Pun Man shots and things. Watch him. This guy's looking like Arnold with those arms, man. <laughs> oh my God. No, no, brother. Beast mode. You mean it? You're just saying. Hey, if you want to be, a, if you want to be a beast, this is the guy to talk this to right here. This is the guy. This is the guy. As you get, you, he'll get you shredded in a day. As he goes, as he goes for his pre-workout. No. Pre oh, you gotta get that in the camera. Where's the protein? Show the, show the camera the protein. Red card. Be a beast. Certified boxing gym. You're really oh, sponsor. Oh, you guys hear oh, that? Oh, 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 oh. Please. Certified boxing Drop the, he's, Don't worry. Jordan's going to drop the bombs on that oh, one. Oh, yeah. For sure. For sure. Back, back, back to his style, though. Yeah. Uh, so, Pulse. What do, you, what, do you give, what do you give him credit to? I, in terms of his style. I give him credit for one, having the cardio. One, because okay. that's, not, that's not easy. Number two, he makes weight each and every single time. Like we have to start, we have to start respecting him for the small things that some boxers can't do. Or he right? Def he definitely has a passion. He's got, it. he's got the love. He makes weight. He's got the cardio. He's got the heart. Okay, yeah, he's fighting like you know almost fifty year old men. But that's Anderson Silva. That's not a regular forty seven year old man. Yeah, hundred percent. And and and, 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 and Silva was and Silva was fighting him, yeah, bro. Man. Silva was catching him. Bro. Silva, Silva was fighting him. He was staying southpaw the whole time. I was surprised. I didn't. Silva doesn't have a micro punch except for the he had the he had to land the the left hook. Is, was that, was that, his, is that his only ball. shot? Is that his only shot? At this age, nothing else would have knocked him off. No, you should have no. kicked him in the fucking face. No, <laughs> <laughs> there was yeah. a time where he was going to kick him that in the face. Front kick. Boom. Yeah, but but you know, it's at the later rounds, like seven, eight rounds, you could see the stamina starting to kind of dwindle on him. But the yeah. heart was he not going to let his body go down. Uh, so I give Jake Paul the credit for not only standing there, but being able to stand with somebody like that, bro, and, yeah. and trade he shots fights a real boxer. and trade blows. He fights a real boxer who knows how to apply pressure properly. His sofa still, his style is still right, ready yeah, for a kick, right, you know? Right. Like, completely different. Yeah, exactly. It's, yeah, it's completely, it's completely different. And, and yeah. you know what's funny? A lot of people say that. Wait until Jake Paul fights a real boxer. Wait until he fights a real boxer. It's not going to happen, bro. It's not going to happen. He's going to go undefeated for a while. Right, right. That's why I felt like this was... This is rigged. The, I, can, I can see why. It he like, always has to get that knockout. Same overhand right. Every it, single time. You're telling me so. And that's a good point. Every single time. And that's a good that's point. That's all he's throwing. So are you're we. telling me experience. Well, okay. can't have to spit that so, overhand right. Watch analyzing all of Jay yeah, Bill, it's all yes. Jake Paul's. Oh, yeah. It's right? all he has. He's there fucking getting it's it. Right. It's overhand. Okay. Boom. Okay. Overhand. Mm -hmm. Boom. Okay. Over so, so us being coaches oh, in our own God. right. Bro. We would have to go in. Let's say one of our guys fight Jake Paul. Yeah. We'd have to go in and create a plan to counter that right hand. And that's just based. That's what I was expecting. Yeah. Just be and, that's, just through it. and that's just based off of our own visual and watching him over and over. So I don't understand. But, you look at Jake Paul. He's really just slugging, man. He has no. There's no setups. There's no setups. There's no. But you know, he said he sent him like, some nice jabs going to the body. Like there's right. there's things that I see that I actually like, and there's also things Jake that I Paul, see I'll that I don't like. Your ass. <laughs> sorry, you're just a hater. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'm ass. sorry, bro. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, so going on to my next question now. Simple yes or no answer. Do you think the Paul brothers are good for boxing? That's a tough one. As we just I know went over there. I feel like, but in the general, two point, the two points I have, yeah, they contradict each other. Yes, but Overall. are they good? But are they good for the sport? I would, uh, overall, I have to go with yes. Yeah. And, and it's, you know, it, like you said, just due to the fact that they're bringing more attention to boxer, yeah, boxing. Yeah. So, you know, a lot of kids, you know, a lot, uh, around the world just do Jake Paul's high influence in boxing now. All right. Are they're going to they're gonna start getting in the boxing gyms now. Yeah. And obviously a boxing gym is somewhere you want to be as opposed to being on the street. Right. When, you're in, when, you're, when you're in that boxing gym, as you know, right, it, it's, it's more than boxing. It teaches character, discipline. You know mental. what I mean? It's all, it's all mental. So it prepares you how to be a man or a woman in that gym. <clears throat> so respect, good values. So yeah. obviously if that's what Jake, that's Jake Paul, Jake Paul's influence on the world. If he could recruit more people in the boxing gym, all right, then... Yeah, I mean, I can't it's still, that, you know I mean, I mean, it's still better than, you know, kids exactly being on, on the, the streets. streets like, at least they're like, yo, I want to box. I saw Jake Paul yeah, box. So overall, I have to say <clears throat> he's good for boxing. You know what I mean? So, we'll see what happens in the next fight. The next, the next it's not like he's half-assing it. Like you said, he's actually putting, he's the work. putting in work. He's training. He's training. Sparring, you know what I mean? No. He's doing his road work. So. I mean, he did say some crazy shit. he wants shit. to make a statement. You know, he's talking shit. Yeah, he said some crazy shit in the promotion. Yeah, and after the fight, he's like, oh, you know, I was... I was knocking out sparring partners all all Yeah, he's blocks. been saying that. I don't know. I don't know about that. I don't know about that. But you know, we'll see. But 
We'll move on. Uh, yeah. Going on to the next fight uh, over the weekend. Vasily Lomachenko, Lomachenko. Ortiz. Ortiz right. I mean, this was, we've been waiting for this one. We've been waiting for the yeah. Loma comeback. He's like, he's like the Godzilla of the, of that, of that division. Like, you don't yeah. know when that motherfucker coming up. You don't know when he's fighting. You don't know when he's coming back. 100%. But when he's coming back, it's like, oh shit, he's here. So I'll start off with you. Like, did you feel like we saw the Lomachenko that we all wanted to see? Or did we see some things that looked a little different? Was it things that were off? And what was your take on Ortiz I, fighting him? Pretty much. I, I feel like it's the same Lomachenko, mm -hmm. in my opinion. Yeah. You know, you see the footwork there. You see the fans. You see yeah. him collecting his data. Yeah. You know, what I love about Lomachenko is that he has he, his fundamentals, his foundation is excellent. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? And he's able to manipulate it because of that excellent, you know, foundation that he has. So, right. Um, Yeah, his footwork, he looked very sharp. Like yeah. I said, back to the angles. The setups are really good. I just feel like Ortiz just gave him a great fight, man. Yeah, to Ortiz, be honest, and Ortiz was some, Ortiz was boxing Ortiz smart. Fought he was very beat. well. Yes. You know what he I was, mean? He like was he was very first. explosive. He yeah. could tell that he did his homework on Lomachenko. Oh yeah. You know he was expecting the quick blitz that Lomachenko does. He was creating his angles. It also Ortiz helps. was countering very well. It also helps setting so traps. Of, it also helps a lot of people don't know that he, they were sparring partners too. Yes, exactly. Were, I just got to touch yeah, on that. They were sparring partners. And you could see that Ortiz, yeah. he, he hasn't a a kind bit of figured it out. Yes, you know, he was a catching bit, him a yeah. lot, bro. Yeah, 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 yeah. He kind of, like, you could tell he's been in front of him And before. I love I love Ortiz's style, man. He's going to go far. He's very elusive, Yes, man. he's elusive. He's he's got got a, his traps are, he's got are really good. a beautiful good. jab. And the one thing he was talking about, he goes, as soon as I see Loma doing the full work, I'm, yeah, I'm busting said. my full work out as well, too. You know what I mean? And you could see that, right? You could see that. As soon as Loma stops moving, Ortiz started moving as well, too. But overall, like, this fight made me realize that Oh my Django. Is he ready though for Devin? You Is he ready want, for You don't want no smoke with Devin? I don't Haiti. think so either. I don't I don't think he's ready. If this guy Ortiz can figure it out like that. Yeah. I don't he, think I don't think he's ready for Devin. I don't think Devin. he's ready for Devin Haiti. And I don't I just don't think he'll Hey, shout out shout out to all the Loma Loma fans, but yeah, I personally I don't think it's my opinion, that's how I feel. Because Devin Devin is it's super sharp, man. Like, super, he's not gonna like make no mistake for you, not yeah. right? Yeah, 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 yeah. He, yeah. he has uh, his IQ is very, yeah, is very high. So yeah. I feel like he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna reload really and check. He's gonna catch on pretty quick. Like Ortiz what was really, like even Ortiz was really letting his hands go. Like he was, he was comfortable in front of Lomachenko. He wasn't, you know, when people fight Loma, they're like, oh my god, I'm fighting Loma. Yeah, he didn't I, have I, that. I feel like Loma is, you know, the fact that you're fighting Lomachenko and with all his little traps and his little and tactics, tricks. look footwork, at the footwork, his little like, tricks. Yeah, I feel like it kind of throws them off you know right what I mean? but you can but tell you stick to a game plan if you study lomachenko you have a game plan you stick to it which is exactly what teofimo lopez did i yes. feel like yes you'll figure out lomachenko and that was a good point you just brought up teofimo did that he stuck, stuck to, to a plan. Game plan you see it and he stuck to it he didn't even he didn't move alter rattle or shake from that game plan he wanted them titles that's what i'm saying but, but i, I don't feel think like Devin is a Devin is a prime example of a fighter that sticks to the exact plan he fights so safe he could beat you off the jab that's the when thing. he needs to unleash his hands, he'll unleash his hands. That's the thing. And I think... Yeah, and you don't, you don't got to worry about any punch and power from Loma. That's my only thing against right? Devin is that he's... Sometimes he's too safe. And I don't think he'll be, he'll be able to win against Loma being super safe. He's going to have to open uh, up a little bit. He's got to throw them punches. I feel like he's he gonna can have to be ready. first. Because last fight. Because Loma's going to move. Loma's going to move. He's, he's going to move. Those angles. He's gonna but make Devin those fights angles. off angles as well. That's why it's going to be so interesting. Devin fights off angles and, and countering off of shots. So... We're, it's going to be interesting to see, you know, Devin, Devin was there looking fly as hell, you know, so we'll, we'll see. He yeah, was talking to smiling. Some, they were smiling. Yeah. He's just smiling, looking at him, eating yeah, pizza man. and yeah, cyber. Right. Lomachenko definitely got caught a lot in this fight. He got Loma. caught a lot. At the end of the fight, Loma goes, you, heavyweight, heavyweight. Oh yeah. He, he goes, are you a heavyweight to, 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 uh, as he said, he was, he was telling Devin, he looks like a heavyweight because he's much taller. Devin's actually a little taller. Yeah. Devin has a big frame. Too. Ortiz is even taller than Loma. Loma's not that yeah. big, but Loma's Try footwork is what, is what helps him. You know it's what I mean? Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, so one more. So prediction, Loma, if he doesn't fight Devin, you know he might fight Shakur, and that 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 in of itself is yeah. a whole episode. In he's himself. getting smoked by Devin, and he's getting smoked by Shakur. Shakur, hundred percent. You heard it here first. You know this boxing, yeah. Ronnie. <laughs> you heard it here first. Yo, you know people are gonna be vexed for that one. Hundred percent. You would be vexed for that hey. one. Drop a comment. So yeah. Let me know what you think about it. So you think I'll, so? I'll have a so, debate with you. So you think Loma, he doesn't have a chance against Devin and Stevenson? Oh, well, obviously he has a chance, but I feel like, you know, Devin's just going to come out victorious. Shakira will just come out victorious as well. I think they cannot point him. They cannot point him. You as well, sure. eh? Uh, if, I, 
if I if I had to choose between Shakur and Devin to beat Loma, I go with Devin. I think Shakur, as although he's he's not in his prime yet, but we haven't seen him get pushed. Like we haven't yeah. seen him in a situation where he's been in like like pushed back against the ropes. We haven't seen that version of Shakur. Yeah. Now, and it's and a really and gr- great point. That you yeah. Made. And if anybody's gonna bring it out, it'll be Loma. Loma will bring it out. And we'll see yeah, what I happens. I definitely then. feel like Shakira will have a tougher time, yeah. more of a tougher time yeah. with Loma in Devin, comparison to Devin's Devin. been pushed. He's been Devin's pushed. a little bit more. We've seen him get rocked you know I mean? a few times. So but Devin's Devin's Devin's. I love Shakira. Shakira's um his perception of range. Yeah, and they're you know both I mean? southpaws. I want to see range by an inch, an inch and comes back in by an inch. Well, you, you know, know, small steps, small steps. Ortiz was doing a great job, but I would shout out to Loma. I'm not a Loma hater. I appreciate his style. I appreciate Loma too. I know he has a huge fan base. I love his style. You know, very sharp. Very elusive. He's an amazing fighter. You know what I mean? Be. I just feel like in comparison to Devin Haney and Shakir Stevenson that they'll just be victorious. That's how I feel. Well, regardless, hopefully I mean, they can prove had... me fr- prove me wrong. Let's make these fights happen, man. Yeah, well, There's regardless, so much potential we had matchups a... I want to see. I don't see them. Regardless, we had a great uh, weekend of fights. Definitely enjoyed watching Loma in there. Loved watching Anderson Silva in, in a boxing yeah, match. Yeah, very nice to see him back. You know, so right. we'll see what happens. I think what's what's next coming up for a big fight. Um, uh, somebody's fighting in December. December. I don't think there's any numbers. Oh, I, I, no, tank? No. I no, no, thanks. No, 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 it's uh, Crawford. Cra- uh, uh, Crawford and, yeah, Crawford. Am I watching that? Yeah, we're well, going to watch. I'm watching it for sure. We're going to watch guy, it. But... Also, um, what's his name's fighting? Um, what's his name? Uh, Fury. Tyson Fury's fighting um, for the third time. Another opponent that we don't really know like, about. Why? But, I, you know. I just don't understand. Sometimes I mean, we get fights that we're like, eh. And then sometimes we're the, obviously like, it's the biggest fights that generates the, the most, most money. The most money. I think, I think the, the fighters get paid. You know, the promoters get paid. Everybody gets paid. So Everyone why are wins? Why? Everybody wins. If my guy, if my best guy fights your best guy, we put on a big event. Everybody, I don't understand this. Is so, if, even like they say a lot of like, politics. Uh, politics exactly going the on the behind the, the scenes. It's, it's the we're, small. It's the you small, know it's all over yeah. money. Just yeah. make the big fights happen. With, I guess it's greed. It's the small things that we don't. Because the bigger know. fighters there's, want more of a cut. I yeah, guess like that's the only thing I can think about. There's stipulations and fights that we don't understand yet. There's money that goes to certain places that we don't understand yet, and those are the reasons why certain fights don't get made. Location, when, where, how, why, who's getting paid for what, what point? Who's yeah, getting paid off what percentage? They need to bring this. How much percentage? The media got to bring this to our attention. Yeah, how many? How much percentage are you getting? We can't. We on, can't have another. Based on people, we can't have sales. another Floyd and Pacquiao here. Like, no, on, like I hope that I hope it doesn't take that long. But we'll see. Bro. But you know, we still have yeah, what another. I think Crawford should have. It should have been. It should have been done a long time ago, man. Well, listen, we Just got get it done. We got another. There's two. always gonna be another guy on the yeah. come up. So it's always. not like you make this fight happen, then you're not gonna have a, you know, nothing to anticipate for the next few years. Well, like I said, we got another two months, so we'll see what happens in boxing. Uh, Till then, guys, we're going to call this one up closed. Yeah, we definitely man. appreciate you yeah. guys coming through, just kicking with us, talking boxing. Uh, if you haven't already, make sure you smash the subscribe button. Drop a comment in the comment section below. Make sure you follow us on Instagram. Yeah, and um, very, very, very soon, everybody's going to be back in the fray. We just had a few very interesting yeah. weeks. One of our guys, George, is gone. Yeah. So once we're all back up and running, you'll see more of us and you'll yeah. see a lot more better content as well, too. 100%. So we episode definitely appreciate drink. the love. Absolutely dropping every Thursday night. So tune in. Every Thursday. Sure you drop a comment. Let us know what you think about these topics. All right. Share your thoughts with us. And we yeah. out. Peace.